by the end of this video you should be able to differentiate between the different color patterns of hair that we have the different textures of hair that we have and then the difference between a closure and a frontal so definitely keep watching hi you guys welcome welcome back to my channel i'm tap chin tap chin lad and today yes, i'm going to be telling you um i'm going to be sharing with you guys my little knowledge that i have on hair um, when I say hair, I mean human hair. So I was talking to some ladies recently and it appears to me that a lot of ladies or some of us, we really don't know um, the different types of hair, different textures of hair, different color patterns of hair and then how to differentiate between the frontal and the closure and things like that, how to measure the length of your hair, how to expect a real full hair when they send it to you yeah things like that so i'm gonna be talking about this thing in this video i actually heard someone tell them just watch a video you get to know what a closure and a frontal is and i said oh that's true let me also check youtube to be sure there's a detailed video or even if it's not detailed at least a video centered on telling you or talking to someone about like different types of hairs an example of a closure, an example of frontal and there and, and so on but I didn't see an exact specific video like targeted towards that so I decided to make one sit back relax and enjoy please and say something else this video is just for beginners strictly it's like for someone that just heard that there's something like hair and really has no idea about it so please if you're well informed well educated about all these things please you don't need to watch this video, watch it in case you find this helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And yeah, let's get right into the video. In this video, I'm not going to be talking about the different dimensions of a frontal and a closure. But I will do that in a subsequent video if you guys desire to know. Yeah. So I'm going to be starting by giving a brief highlight about everything. So, um about processed or unprocessed hair from my own knowledge and, and my understanding and from what i've seen and my experience with hair an unprocessed hair is the hair that has been gotten directly from the person and then it has not been processed like so it means it's like raw hair from the donor's head yeah more like if they cut to just give it straight up and then a processed hair is the one that they've probably mixed with salon hairs like the hairs that they pick yeah they, when they mix it it actually feels nicer personally i prefer the processed hairs because the unprocessed hairs come and they are they look so so like they feel so hard and i feel like it's high maintenance for me personally please personally and then it doesn't it means i have to do it means i have to do more work to like maintain it and i don't want that so i prefer the processed hair then The next thing we're going to be talking about is Brazilian hair and Peruvian hair, uh, Malaysian hair. For now, these are those that I have a proper glimpse about. Now, I'll tell you the different textures of hair that you can see out there. You can see synthetic hair, which is out of what we're talking about completely in this video. And then you can also see Brazilian hair. Brazilian hair, I think, is the first one that came, not like came, but then is the one that's most popular. Then the next one is Peruvian hair, then Malaysian hair, there is Indian hair, there is Vietnam hair, there is Cambodian hair, so it depends on <laughs> whichever one you want. And then, yeah, each of these hairs have different textures, they, they are different to touch, they are different when you see them, they are very, very different. Now, depending on hair, there is, some people classify their hair based on grades, Personally guys, I feel like that grades is just I don't know. It's too much stress and a good hair is good hair That's what I know and I feel like a good hair You don't know a good hair by just seeing it today or by just being heard that this is grade 10 8, This is grade 9, this is grade 8 people people start grading the hair from 7 Apparently there's 7, 8, 9, 10 and whatever. I feel like a hair is judged by how long it can last on your hair by how long you can take it for not really by grades apparently the grade let's be honest the grade is supposed to the higher the grade the better the quality right but then again have you guys seen some higher grade hair or some so-called grade 10a or 9a hair that don't get to last that long i check a hair and i rate my hair i grade my hair based on the durability 
simple and then most of these very natural hairs unprocessed hairs they really uh, i don't know they don't last long to me from my own experience so yeah those are the different types of hair a brief a brief info about brazilian hair brazilian hair is most popular it is most of the hairs that most of us see in the market now it's a little more hard to touch compared to peruvian hair yeah brazilian hair usually comes in either curly no it comes in every type of type of bundle type of curl pattern it can be curly straight body wave brazilian hair is the best to get if you want to curl your hair it retains curls very very well peruvian hair on the other hand is very silky it's fuller it feels fuller from from root to bottom now this is root this is root and this is bottom so peruvian hairs usually feel very thick from root to bottom do you understand that's what i feel like and it's softer to touch and it's the best for straight hairs if you just want to deal with your inches please go for peruvian hair and to my best understanding that is better for straight hairs unlike brazilian hairs brazilian hair you can use it for your straight hairs but then it tends to have the split ends yeah that's when you see that you just know it's brazilian hair but peruvian hair lies flat i mean like it lies flat and it's very very soft to touch and yeah oh yeah and peruvian hair doesn't really hold curls that much peruvian hair can be very very good for bob too the straight bob wig that we like to make it's the perfect one for it because even when you make um a bob wig with peruvian hair you can use 12 inches and it will still look very very full it doesn't have so much split ends before you get to the bottom you understand but if you use a brazilian hair <laughs> 12 inches will probably be here and then even if you trim the tip you see that there are a lot of flyaways yeah and then that's not good for that then malaysian hair you guys at first when i first had malaysian hair i really wanted to try it but it's really not soft to touch it's not soft to touch it feels hard yeah from the ones that i've touched please it felt very very hard not so soft even though it holds curls very very well and it is actually fuller than all these ones that i've mentioned especially if you're getting a longer length so it feels fuller very hard to touch compared to um peruvian hair and then it, hurl, it holds curls very very well unlike peruvian hair you understand so the next um hair is indian hair cambodian hair for those and vietnam hair I really have not tried any of those so i don't know how it takes there's a way that some people grade their hair by like double drawn single drawn super super double drawn yeah those classifications are always very good with malaysian hair and um vietnamese hair that's because the hairs are the same quantity from root to tip again this is your root this is your tip if you look at this hair this root this is how thick it looks yeah but let's look at the tip this is how the tip is very very tiny but a double drawn or a super double drawn hair is going to be the same size from root to bottom you understand meaning you get this fuller effect with it from root to bottom personally i i'm not a real i'm not a fan of that because i feel like naturally if if i would wear my hair that long it, it won't be that full from root to tip so there's no point trying to have like a very very full hair even though it's obvious that we're wearing false hair but i still like to have my hair mimic the original nature of hair ideally now right now i'm going to go be going into the different curl patterns of hair now this is i'm going to be starting with straight this is a straight bundle all these bundles i'm going to be showing you are 18 18 inches i'm doing this so that you guys can be able to estimate and understand when somebody sends you hair so you don't blame the person for something now and i do hair this is 18 inch please let the hair that is sent to you not to be this not to be smaller than this do you get the roots i think this is the minimum quantity 
a root the root of any hair should be because sometimes some vendors can actually divide it into two especially i don't know some sellers they can end up dividing it into two but your bundle should be this big this is a straight bundle do you get so this is from from looking at this what do you guys see this is straight first of all and then it is not double drawn it's actually peruvian so peruvian hair textures can you see it's it feels very very soft it's fuller to the tip as i said it's really fuller to the tip and then look at the end the end doesn't have one sharp one ending there it's like they almost almost all of them end at the same place yeah so this is a peruvian hair this is 18 inches hair 18 inches hair should look something like this now this is a body wave hair now this is brazilian hair let me show you the flyers can you see if you guys are careful you're going to see that the further i go i don't know if you guys can see yeah but you guys will see the good the flyers they are picking up picking up picking up picking up and they are really picking up can you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and then getting to the tip they become so 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 much and that's it but this is a brazilian texture though and it feels harder i don't know from my feel right now it feels very very harder compared to this period and this period it feels so soft and then it's slick do you get it's very very slick now this they are both 18 inches but do you guys see where the curly one stops and where the straight one stops just so you know that the best way to measure your hair length is by pulling it down. When I pull it down, do you guys notice now that it's the same length? Yeah, this one is even a little longer. I mean, like, they are both the same length, but the curl pattern can be deceiving. So, yeah. And then something to note, please, when you lose this hair, this body wave, it's not like when you lose it, the curls are going to be like this. The curls will be looser. The next style of hair that I have is Kinky Curly. Now this is Kinky Curly here. Yeah. This is also 18 inches. Yeah, this is also 18 inches. But comparing it to this street, this way, you see where this is stopping? And then this is stopping a little further. Meaning that the best way to find this perfect length is to pick a strand, pull it to the tip. Apparently this is how they measure their hair. So the whole idea of all these measurements and all is that a curly hair the curlier the hair you get the shorter it appears do you get so in order to achieve um a waistland hair or at least a below bra hair a hair that is below your bra especially for curly hair you get it like two inches longer than what you would normally get in a straight hair do you get this after if i'm making a wig with it i place it here already is almost below my bra but this is just here do you guys get so yeah these are the different things so let me bring this kinky curly to you closely so you guys can see this is a peruvian kinky curly and i like the color the length this is a full bundle you guys see it's really full and then this is how it comes this is kinky curly here next hair i'm going to show you is kinky afro kinky hair this is afro kinky hair this hair looks like synthetic it's really not synthetic you guys should take a look it's not synthetic hair it's 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 almost mimics the normal kinky curly hair but this one tends to have some form of afro to it sorry this is not 18 inches this is not 18 inches please before you read this is not 18 inches this is 14 inches but either way, 14 inches is quite short. Do you get? And then this is afro. I Meaning it's it's kind of like mimics mimics your hair. And you can fix this without a closure. You can just fix it with a closure. But it's it's just an afro hair that mimics your hair. It's curly and kind of like full. It has some uncurled parts in it. And this is how it should look. Yeah. So you kinky. So this, in order to achieve your normal long hair. You have to buy 20 inches and 20 inches i bet you'll probably look maybe this tall yeah so the next one i'm going to be showing you unfortunately is on my hair i'm going to be showing you this is the kinky straight this is 
monkey street and this is how it looks yeah this is how it should look ideally this is a kinky street here and it's a front tower obviously I made it into a week and this is the front half so this is kinky street here and yeah we're done with that now i'm going to be showing you guys closure and front half this is what you can call a closure this is a 16 inch closure 16 inch closure to measure your closure you measure it from here to the tip to this tip now from the look of it this here i think you guys are, are about to get is brazilian um yeah so this is a closure this is a 16 inch closure now a closure is not so wide this is a four by five before by four this is a four four by four closure yeah this is a four by four closure so yeah this is how a closure should look like and then when made into a wig this is how it should be do you guys get this is a closure wig i want to also say that sometimes some people sell some people can sell you half closure this is not how a closure comes this is not how a closure comes when you make your wig the inside should be this big in order to mimic your hair line very very well you need it this wide not this wide of course you can get away with this especially in some hairs but i won't advise you do that do you understand some sellers may sell you half closure sorry but when it comes that way you get to know that this is a full closure whatever you get apart from this and the person claims it's a closure even if it's in a week just know that the person has cheated you make sure it's a front half this front half is supposed to be air to air this is 13 by this is 13 13 by 4 13 by 4 inch front top yeah that is it and this is an 8 inch front top you guys see how very very short it is a frontal wig is supposed to come like this from air to air person may bleach it for you he may not bleach it for you but i bleached this one so yeah this is a frontal wig after curling it this is how it looks but yeah please be informed this is a frontal and this is a closure <laughs> this is how full it should come some closures are actually wider than this that's the um, five by five six by six and it's very very wide and yeah it depends on what you actually want a closure i feel like is high maintenance than a frontal let's closure i feel like is low maintenance than frontal a frontal is quite high maintenance yeah so that is it i don't know what else i've not covered in this hair video a frontal when lid obviously something like this on a closure i'm sure a lot of us have seen it already but yeah this is a short video trying to explain to you the little things you need to know about it about hair and all of that if you have any questions please write me in the comment section below i'll be there to answer you answer all my comments yes every single one in this channel i've answered them yeah so if there's anything just ask me if i forget anything i will leave it in the comment section also so you'll get talking from there thank you for watching this video i hope you really found it helpful and i hope you enjoyed it and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me hit the bell so you get notifications whenever i upload and then watch other videos please watch them and i'll see you guys right in my next one by the way, you guys, we are wondering, I just wore the Juvia's Place Foundation today. And I think I got the shade Burkina. And unfortunately, it was really dark on me. I'm really light, sorry. Unfortunately, it was light. And from the reviews I saw, that shade was even darker than what the person used. I don't know how. This 
his videos are getting so deceiving and you get to get a lighter shade. I don't know. I think it's sad. But it's fine. That's the end of my video. Guys, I'm thinking of vlogging this week though. Let me know what you think about 